Welcome to the shop everyone. Today I'm part three of the 454 big block short block assembly video. We're going to be installing those pistons and rods and rings into that short block. And I also want to make up some kind of a tool that'll help me as I'm putting the pistons into the block to help guide the rod to the journal without nicking up anything. So, I know I got some half inch brass rod over there, so let's get a measurement. See if we can't make us up something. Yeah, I think that's gonna work out well. All right, so let's measure off a piece. Cut it off with the old band saw. Alright, so I want to cut some threads on that where it'll screw into the rods itself. So let's get a rod bowl out of one of the rods that we're going to use. Now I know they're 7 16 but let's try to find what the pitch is. So I've got 20 there, and 20 seems to work pretty well. So now I need to get a major diameter and a minor diameter. Now, I'm not trying to make this super precision. I just want it where it screws into the rod easy enough. So, let's set the lathe up to cut a 20 inch, 20 pitch. And it looks like we gotta go A, E, think R, and four. All right, that should give us the pitch we want. I'm just going to face the ends off, just to make them good and square, put a little shaper on each side. Alright, so I think I'm going to make the threads about, I don't know, three quarters of an inch, 0.750. So I'm going to scribe me a line on there. Now, I'm going to cut me a relief, so as I cut my threads, when I'm done with the cut, I have somewhere to, you know, a relief area that you pull it out when you uh, pull the thread. Good enough. Alright, so now my major diameter. I need to get it down to the right size. Let's get a check here. A little bit more. Good enough. All right, so let's just start cutting some threads. Ah, looking good. Go ahead and file the sharp edge off. Perfect. Alright, I'm going to use some scotch Bright to polish it up a little bit, make it look really nice. Uh, yeah, I like that. It looks really nice. Alright, 
right, let's go see if it screws into the rod. Ah, perfect. So what that's going to do is, as I put the rod and piston in there, it'll stick over like on the top side of the crankshaft. And so it'll kind of like guide the rod in onto the journal of the crankshaft. Alright, so let's get some assembly lube on those bearings. And the rod bolts, I already had gone through those and used the APR rod bolt assembly lube, I guess you call it. And also the ring manufacturer will also have where they want the gaps of the rings to uh, orientate on your piston. So I've gone through and have that correct also. And I've gone through and I put a little oil on the pistons and also a little bit of oil on the cylinder bores of the block. Alright, so I'm just last check, making sure my rings are in the right orientation. once you get the rod in there is I use a small screwdriver to make sure the insert is correctly correctly seated in the rod itself before I put the cap on all right number one's in there all right so let's put number three in there Helps out. I like it. Make sure that bearing is square. Set up another piston. Make sure the rings are in the right orientation. side done. Let's flip her over and get the other ones in there.
it's going really nice. that bearing cert is correctly put in there because sometimes as you're putting the piston in there that shell can come loose and actually cock to one side a little bit so I always check them before I put the cap on all right that's number eight check that bearing put the cap on There we go. Got that side plate. All right. All right, so let's torque the rods down. That's pretty much got it. Bottom ends together. I'm gonna use my yellow marker to mark all the bolts that are torqued. So if I don't work on the engine for a while, I know these parts have been torqued and I won't do it again. All right, so the little brass rod guide thing worked out really nice. Helped the job go a little bit easier. And as always, if y'all enjoyed the video, please hit that like, please share it, please subscribe. We'd appreciate it so much. And you guys have a great day. See you on the next project.